Good morning guys, welcome to our channel, uh, Jane Explorers. I'm Jamie. I'm Natalie. I'm Josh. I'm Evie. This is our baby girl, Lexi. Lexi. Yeah, three month old daughter. She's finally old enough to start going off on our first little road trip. Uh, we are, what, two and a half hours in on our first drive. Where are we off to, kids? Pemberton. Pemberton. Yeah, this is our first, uh, first trip away together as a big family, especially with the little one. Pemberton's been my all time favorite place. And uh, yeah, very excited to get there. And yeah, just on the road, probably got what, another two hours to get there. And uh, yeah, excited yeah. to show everyone what Pemberton's all about, things to do around there. And yeah, can't wait, bring it on. Just got a quick little stop up. Um, I'll go down here back. Uh, just having a quick stop over and manage them up. Kids saw a massive playground and slide, so naturally here to stop for a quick little break before we get to Pemberton. Look at the size of this thing. Mum's gone up to the top. She's gonna go down the slide. I'm not gonna, no, my luck, I'll get stuck. Half an hour to Pemberton, time to get back on the road. to get a look at this view just look at that absolutely fantastic it's quiet kid friendly and hire all sorts of stuff here what do you think it's amazing it's amazing yeah yeah
welcome to our little cabin for the night. Still can't get over how fantastic it is here. Alright, let's come take a look. So we've got a cabin, we've got a couple of beds for the kids, so they're stoked, they've already started making it theirs. Alright Josh. <laughs> Fucking have the fire going up tonight because it's going to get bloody cold. But look at this view. This is where I think me and Nat are going to be spending tonight, having a lovely chill. But look at that. Right, we've literally just had a flock of 28s come visit us here and we're just giving them a good feed of some apple slices that we've had and they're absolutely destroyed. <laughs> I was the first one to get one on my arm because I just held it up and one jumped on and now there's all... And you got cuts on your eyes. Yeah. Oh, no, it was good. Nice and sunny. Alright guys, sun's going down in a couple hours. Thought we're getting a nice afternoon walk before dinner. Get some photos, send the drone up and try to get some nice shot of the area and hope you enjoy. We are checking out a waterfall. Stop it. I'll turn off the GoPro for you then. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that. We're probably going to call it a night with the videoing, so we're going to have dinner in a little bit and see you all in the morning. Alright, good morning to day two. Good morning guys. Right, what did we get up to last night? We had a nice dinner at the Cary Valley restaurant. Yeah, so we had restaurant. Um, <laughs> We had dinner at the restaurant by the uh, lake where we're staying, and oh, I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty good. Had marin for the first time; it is delicious. But it's what you have to do when you get down here. Um, so this morning, got up nice and early. We just uh, finished um, having some breakfast at a nice cafe in town, and we're now just killing some time waiting to go on a tram ride. So the kids are stoked for that, and for now get a look at this view. We are here at the Pemberton Pool. It is all to ourselves naturally because it's cold and no one's going to be swimming. Um, but it is absolutely stunning place. Have a look.
cold? Yes. And you want to go for a swim? Uh, I don't want to go for a swim. <laughs> Lexi does. Well, you say that off camera, on camera now, but oh, five minutes ago was, I want to go for a swim. Are like, you nuts? I don't you, Lexi. I don't think it's you want to be going for a swim, do you? <laughs> what do you reckon, babe? Mm. Very quiet here. Very quiet. No one's here. Right, here we are, guys. The tram ride. Yes. We're a bit early, but still a beautiful spot to enjoy. We've got some old trains here. So it's not bad. It was what for two adults, two kids, and a baby. It was like 88 bucks. So this is going to be good. Are you excited? come off the tram so I'd probably recommend coming down here not on the tram but because we have put the tram down to the Cascades um, yeah we've obviously got everyone else down here trying to take photos and videos so yeah quite busy um, yeah definitely come down um, not on the tram or come down again at least Flesh. Ooh. What do you want 
get attacked by that. Look what else we can um, see along the way. Right, guys, how'd we enjoy that? Yeah, that was very fun. It was fun. <laughs> yeah. I think they spent most of the time trying to catch the leaves and sticks of everything as we went down, but no, it was good fun. But where are we off to now? Um, we're going to check out the lavender berry farm. We've watched a few other YouTube channels, and they've said that it's really good to check out. So try some of their lavender ice cream and see yeah see how we go ice cream time baby yeah. <laughs> Very pretty. Have a look at this view of the lake. The berries. We've got the sign here. There's the ice cream. <laughs> oh, look at that. We do have ice cream. Hello. We're going. Hello. What flavour have we gone with, Josh? I got honey and lavender. Good. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got that? I have a little lavender. Lavender. I got, I got lavender and um, oh. triple swirl. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. And I got the good old cookies and cream. That lavender. Like in the lavender. Really? Do you want to try honey? Please do not feed us. We are too fat. Oh, look. We got some alpacas. I don't want to get spit. On. Hello. Hello. It looks big. It's so big. Here we've got some Hello. little miniature ponies. Uh, Look how cute they are. Hello. Hello. All right. That is the lavender farm. <laughs> Ice cream is delicious. This one's getting hungry. <laughs> Catch you in a bit. <laughs> Guys, well, with the wine tasting done, some money well spent, we are now going to stop at the Big Brook Dam, which is, what, 10 minutes out of town, so, um, yeah, so we're going to stop here for a bit of a lunch and a bit of a break, and yeah, maybe do a bit of a walk around the dam and enjoy, it's looking amazing. There is no one here. It is so quiet. The most annoyance we've had is some birds that are obviously used to being fed, but it's all part of the fun. We love it. Um, but yeah, it is so quiet and peaceful here. The weather's great. The water looks amazing. 
send the drone up again. How can you not? Well, that is Big Brook Dam. Highly recommend coming here, like we're doing, trying to show you all the good spots. Alright guys, at our last stop for today, we have come to the big old famous Gloucester Tree here in Pemberton. Now some bad news, um, it has been fenced off for maintenance. Um, we thought the worst that they'd actually shut down climbing the entire tree all together. Um, look, just a bit of info, you do need your uh, parks uh, pass to get in from Parks and Wildlife, so you can get out a website or you can um, pay here. They do have your pay machines here. Um, yeah, so here we go. So we do have the option to climb uh, the Dave Evans Bicentennial tree, and um, that's another um, tall tree. So obviously these trees were the original um, fire lookout posts for Pemberton back in the day. And yeah, as you can see here, this tree is 53 uh, meters tall. So it's a big tree. Now, I have climbed this tree before about seven years ago and I did film that. Um, so I'm going to throw that in this video um, so you guys can watch the view. Um, watch me climb up and see the view from the very top uh, but even though we can't climb the tree it is still um, obviously quite breathtaking so get a look of this you've got the lookout 53 meters all the way at the very top now there is a midway point where you can stop and turn around and come back um, but as you'll see if you are afraid of heights I would not recommend climbing this I've done it once before and it must have taken me about five to ten minutes because you really got to take your time so get a look at this you just got these big pegs railed in and all you've got is that side sheet there to stop you going up sideways but if you slip through any of these bars you're gone simple as that but if you take your time you can do it and it is quite rewarding when you get to the top um, but yes you do have to have nerves of steel <laughs> to do this so yeah kids are a bit bummed we were going to let them sort of climb up a little bit of a way for a bit of a say so that we've climbed lost the tree but uh, but yeah yeah I know but that was take with time I'll just yell out when I get to the top
the top. I'm at the top. So here we go, so here's some info um, of the tree as it was back in the day. So here you go, so this is Gloucester Tree back in 1946 um, as one of the original lookouts. So yeah, 55, uh, 58 metres up. And this is what the boys had to do to climb the tree in order to actually peg it out. Right, there you go. So that was a bit of a short and sweet trip, but yeah, like I said, I'll put the video up. Hopefully you guys enjoy it, but we are going to make ways back down to our the Cary Valley. Um, call it an afternoon. Lexi's a bit over it at the moment and needs to get asleep. So thanks, guys. All right, just got back from a big day back in Cary Valley now, so did manage to do quite a bit of shopping, managed to get, what have we got here? So we managed to score some honey, local honey, uh, red gum. Uh, we got some strawberry jam from the lavender and berry farm, some soap, and most importantly, from Hidden Valley, yeah, got a few bottles of the good stuff after doing some tasting, so we are probably gonna open up. Well, one of them, I but we've already got another one. I got from Here we go. Reception, which I'll be having tonight. So we've got a spear tree, Simulian Seven Long Blanc. There we go. So she's covered. Yeah. All right. We were going to try get into Jasper's whiskey bar, but it has been completely booked out for the last two nights. So that's done us. So. So local pub it is. Local pub it is, which is still good. I've been there before, so we'll catch you later. Happy hour at the resort. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Happy hour, girl time. <laughs> With your hot chocolate. Mm. Nice warm fire we've got going on over there. Good morning guys. Good morning. Good morning. Today is day three and it's what nine o'clock and just checked out of our cabin. Sorry to see it go. Yeah. But got some exciting stuff planned today. We're just about to go check up um, check out Beetle Up Falls. It's a few minutes down the road, so we'll show you some of that soon. But the plan of attack for today, we're gonna try to get down um, by the Warren River, check out some stuff there, um, the bicentennial tree, uh, get down through uh, the dunes down onto the beach and check out the entrance to the Warren River. And yeah, so that'll be our day before we make the big trip home. So let's get onto it. All right, so here we are at the Beetle Up Falls. A bit fresh, but yeah, look, as you can see, you do need a park pass um, here, so probably mentioned this when we went to Gloucester Park. Um, I bought a three-day holiday pass. Um, yeah, so that was probably the best way to go rather than trying to individually pay one, but as you go, so they do have some info on your um, entry fees so if you want to do a holiday pass like we did oh my God, we did yeah must have been the five days for the 25 bucks so that's covered us for our trip down here so all right let's get on to it right, we just got to the waterfall yep so we're right here at a bridge that lets you go over the top so you can see the waterfall so uh, and only only us five can go on we have to go one straight line Oh, 
his prints. <laughs> Whoa! Who's rocking it? Stop it! Have a look at this waterfall! Down, shorty. The flowers that are out at the moment. It's stunning. <sighs> right, so just been over that little um, bridge there. Now we're just coming to the lookout at the top. Fun. Very fun. What do yeah. you like about it? Throwing sticks over the edge. Yes. Phoebe, do you like the waterfall? Yeah. Yeah, very good. Very nice. <laughs> Am I, I think that's like the fifth time she's said that in the last couple of days. Like, what do you think, darling? Is that very nice? <laughs> Alright, we're going to head back to the car and we are going to go down to the Heartbreak Trail. And there is a nice uh, uh, lookout to look over the Warren River, so get on to it. Alright, we've just arrived uh, on the Heartbreak Trail. This is Dafty's campground. If anyone wants to know this particular site, we're at four. Uh, B, apparently does have toilets um, but yeah fire pit table and you are right on the Warren River look at this place guys I'm in love feels like home check this out Gotta love coming to these places, but when you get people who do all this, then they get to these places and just, in my mind, ruins it. But that's my 10 cents whinge for today. But on a brighter note, get a look at this view. Yep. 
Ooh. You can actually climb this one, but I've got this one to think about. I'm not going to be climbing high. But yes, this is the bicentennial tree. I'll have to find out a, how high it is and all that if you guys want to know, but... Oh, look at the size of this thing. From memory, this one is taller than Gloucester Tree. All right, Josh has officially climbed a bit of the bicentennial tree. This is gonna be my turn. Yeah, you're in thongs. You ain't going high. Yeah, you're not meant to do it. Oh, go, Mum. Oh yeah, yeah, you're bending them. No, I'm not. No, I'm not joking. You actually they are. They're flexing, but they're not bending. We've all just sort of stepped on it a little bit, but yeah, it's too cold, too slippery, and yeah, playing it safe. But if you did want to know how high it is, it's 65 meters to the tree top of the tree lookout. So yeah, this is what 10 meters taller than Gloucester Tree. Right, we're at the Yigarup Dunes. So we just passed the lake, we haven't stopped here, but we're just going to air down so we can drive down onto the beach. Um, and then we're just going to head up to the entrance to the Warren River there. It's going to air down now and we'll get onto it. Right, we have made it to the entrance to the dunes, but it's crazy chopped and yeah, look, there's, it's pretty crazy uh, flex sort of going on when you're trying to maintain your momentum getting up and I mean look you could probably plant a bit of right foot and send it but at the moment the Fortuna wasn't really coping that well and look out of fear, personally out of fear of not wanting to destroy the car just to get out on the jeans yeah we're not going to do it so we're just gonna yeah get up here i'll send the drone up and we'll show you um some footage of the area anyway but yeah no i would say it, safe to say the it was a bit much for the fortuna and yeah we've got to get home yet and personally yeah <laughs> i just don't want to snap something so being a new fortuna it's going to be very expensive so oh. all right guys so it was a bit of a disappointing end, but still had one hell of a weekend, didn't we? Yeah. Right, so. Fantastic. Yeah, it was absolutely fantastic time and. Definitely come back again. Yeah. yeah the view cool. here is still pretty spectacular. So I'm gonna send the drone up and we'll yeah. sign off with that. So look, hope we really, hope you really liked what we showed you and uh, what we had to say. And yeah, hope you enjoy if you, yeah, if you loved it, please like and subscribe. Uh, leave any comments, we'll get back to you. And if yeah, if you want to find anything out, let us know and we can let you know as well. So, all right, till next time. Thanks, guys.